Hello and welcome everybody to a new hunting video and this time we are hunting at Whiteheart Island from the South Cliff Lodge um, Today there is uh, nothing special like new weapons or anything particular that I want to show I'm just uh, having fun here hunting um, so I just thought I will take you with me and uh, as always I first show you what uh, weapons we take with us so uh, I feel like using the lever action rifle it's a really nice weapon and also one of my favorites the uh, pump action shotgun um, with the red dot scope I really like this weapon a lot okay guys uh, I am hoping for some nice uh, whitetail hunting. I really feel like hunting whitetail. I really hope it works and um, whenever I feel for hunting whitetails I most of the time decide to hunt on South Cliff Lodge just because um, I really do find a lot of whitetail here and also something I want to mention is that this part of the island has been uh, completely renewed by the developer uh, team not long ago so um, it's really worth checking out this little island because um, in the old days this always was a very boring place to hunt because it had very few animals and especially in the times that White Hard Island was the map for guests <laughs> it was always the case that you had um, close to zero uh, mule deer on this island so uh, yeah I remember back when I was a guest um, I had <laughs> many hunts uh, where I started from here because I really like the scenery here very much but um, those hunts most of the time were really unsuccessful so but that's long ago uh, nowadays there is a uh, much better possibilities for a uh, possibility for animals um, also elk are seen in this part um, of the map so um, it really changed a lot but what um, is still the same is that it is uh, in my opinion one of the uh, nicest places here in the game so as always um, I will be back when uh, we have some action Okay guys, we are reaching a very nice uh, hunting stand here and I will just climb up and see if we not can find something and I will also give it a try and called a little bit of course you never know if there is a buck in the area and I will just try it anyways because that is just uh, a little bit my hunting style that I also uh, enjoy to sit in a stand and just uh, 
wait a little bit um, just something that I can tell from experience is that um, especially high scoring bugs I think I mentioned it already uh, in another episode or something uh, that higher scoring ba uh, bugs or uh, animals in general that have a high score they do also have very um, high senses and also are more quiet so it is very likely that if you uh, are somewhere and a uh, very good buck is in the area um, you will have to be lucky oh here we go to get a call from him when you are just uh, walking so uh, it sometimes is worth sitting somewhere calling and I have um, had it several times already that um, oh sorry I just continue with the story that I was going to tell but I do want to do something here because of the direction where the buck is coming from uh, I want to use the scent as you saw um, the direction where the buck is coming from is really not ideal because there is this big old tree there completely in our way so I will put out the scan spray the sand spray here in the hope the buck will just walk to the sand and I will have the perfect angle to get a shot on him okay but I was actually telling you something when the buck was interrupting and that was about the big animals and uh, yeah and the advanced senses they have so it can happen that you actually are um, near a such animal but it won't call uh, and so I sometimes in uh, sit somewhere calling and waiting and it really happens sometimes that uh, without calling one single time suddenly um, a huge buck is standing in front of you and um, that's why I mention this because it really can be worth trying okay as soon as the buck will show up here and there's something to tell you will be back with me okay guys I can hear footsteps and uh, there I can see the buck he's unfortunately um, following the call that I made before I brought out the scent so it's also interesting to know that the animal will always walk to the closest source so what is the situation now um, it is that we have to wait until the attraction of the call we made is uh, over so he will switch to the attraction of the scent which uh, is going to be uh, um, active much longer than uh, the call and actually he's already going to the source of the scent which is just perfect so now we have the perfect angle and we will use the shotgun with buckshot
perfect shot. Really nice. So this really is what I like. Having a situation uh, setting up something like the scent we did now and then everything works together and we have a perfect hunt here. And uh, the wreck also like seems to be quite good actually. So let's check it out. 116 and 0.260. Nice! And uh, it was a long shot. So just awesome. Look at the holes. <laughs> wow, this is a really nice uh, trophy. I mean, not the points, uh, not the rack actually, but the, uh, just everything behind it. And this really annoys me now because, uh, as you could hear, the sound problem was back. So this really sucks. I really don't know what what is happening there, but um, I just hope we can continue this hunt. Uh, I actually made a complete uh, new installation of the game and I thought it was solved already. But uh, as you could see, now it came back. Okay guys, uh, we want to go now to this stand and also check out the area down here. And um, as for the sound problem, if it will continue to happen, I will start a new hunt and just record from where we are now. Um, because uh, that, that nice hunt of the buck uh, it would really be a shame to just skip the whole thing now, but let's hope uh, the problem will not come back. Okay guys, we just got a call of a, a whitetail buck and this is just perfect timing because uh, we are reaching now the stand, but as you saw, the buck was very far away and we got the call when we were kind of somewhere here. So I'm going to call and uh, stay here for uh, a couple minutes and uh, this is for one reason. Uh, the thing is, when the, when the buck was somewhere here and called and you see it is the very edge of the hunter mate here and the stand actually is a uh, uh, is a bit more in the direction away from the buck so it could happen if you continue to the stand and start calling the buck in from there the it could happen that the buck is then out of the um, render distance so this would mean the buck would not react on your calling at all because the buck would be too far away so uh, this is something to always keep in mind so I'm calling here, waiting here. Um, of course the best thing would be to get another call and 
much closer than the one before and that would mean we can continue our way backwards to the stand so I'm gonna be back when something's happening okay guys there he is so he really sneaked up on me here so uh, course I will not go further back to the stand and uh, I will just try to get him from here sound problem it's not going to come back okay let's pick him up it's a 122.126 and we got a perfect hard shot very nice nice so this is really going well uh, we already have two whitetail bucks in the bag uh, there was not a really big one but still it's a lot of fun to hunt whitetail uh, alright I will continue my way now. I think I will go like around here and then we will continue just uh, see what happens. Okay guys, we are now all the way <laughs> to the tent that I set up here and I just have to say I did not see anything but females uh, even tracks I on only saw female tracks and as you can see there is still some around but yeah that also happens sometimes and as this uh, took quite a long time and it's really getting late here um, I will call it a day now and yeah so we had a nice uh, whitetail hunt we got two nice bucks and um, we'll see maybe next time we just start the session from this tent here and uh, then we might have more luck next time again so as always thanks a lot for watching and happy hunting to you all